Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at past, present, future energies for you in love, as well as the energies between you and the person that you will be dealing with. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Leo watching. All right, Spirit, any messages for Leo? For Leo. In love. What do they need to know? This is a reading for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind. Leo. Religious factors. Okay. This is a card for me about like spirit being involved in some way. Like spiritual downloads, messages. I'm feeling very antsy all of a sudden. I feel like there's something here. Can I get one more for Leo, please? Where the time is like of the essence. Pay attention to the red flags. Okay, so that's why I'm feeling antsy. <laughs> there's something off here. The signs are cautioning you. Yes, so spirit is trying to speak to someone here. Um, speak to, you know, through your intuition, your gut instinct. You know, what is your inner voice telling you? What is your heart telling you about something or, or someone let's get some more insight i'm using my new stellar energy oracle deck this is a physical deck i have a digital deck that's very similar but this one's a little bit um has more cards and some different uh imagery it's not for sale yet so we'll see when that i'll, I'll let you all know if it does become available so anyways tell me about the energy here for Leo, what's the energy surrounding them in love? What's the energy surrounding them here? Tell me about the energy. Tied up, trapped, stuck, burdened. You're feeling trapped in a situation and are looking for a way out. Okay, some sort of restriction here. Tell me more. What's going on here? Moving forward. Movement ending cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. So uh, what I'm getting is someone here felt stru stuck or trapped. And it's like their intuition told them to get out or to move on. Let's see. What does the tarot say? And then, oh, by the way, bottom of the deck, I have time out. Something Time is of the essence. So that's kind of the energy that I was picking up. Like something needs to happen quickly or someone feels like it's just taken too long. Maybe they've been waiting on something and it's like, I can't wait anymore. Something like that. Let's see what the tarot says. For Leo regarding love, what messages do you have for Leo spirit regarding love? What is going on for Leo's in love? Any messages for Leo? We're going to look at what your connection, what's going on in your connection at this time first. And then we'll look at how you feel about each other. And then finally, what is this person going to do next or what's next for this connection? What's going on in this connection? Page of Swords, some sort of communication or message. Someone doing research, being curious about something. Judgment and Ten of Swords reverse. Wow. So someone has made a judgment call here. They've looked at the past. This could also be someone wanting a second chance. We'll clarify and see. But it's like someone has looked at their past decisions and they've made a judgment call. They've learned from their mistakes and they're ready to move on. Literally, like forgive whoever they need to forgive and just move on past this cycle completely. Let's clarify these energies. Tell me more. For Leo. I feel like this is like a, a serious conversation that you're having with someone. And just when I say that, I have the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords here. So yeah, a very important conversation has taken place or will take place. I feel like maybe this was unexpected for someone or something like that. Let me get some more information, some more clarity for Leo, please. 
Tell me about this page of sorts. That is way too many. Tell me about the page of sorts, please. Why is the page of sorts here? Okay. Ten. Okay. So they're giving me a lot of cards. So ten of swords reversed again. Justice reversed. Libra energy. And the two of pentacles reversed. Something wasn't fair to someone, and so they decided to end a situation. Um, possibly someone was juggling too much, or um, what's at the bottom? Seven of Cups. Maybe something, someone was trying to confuse you, or there wasn't a lot of clarity. Um, maybe there was a lot of choices that someone had, or someone made the wrong choice here. They chose the wrong cup, or there was some sort of illusion here. Justice reverse. This is something that's not fair, not balanced. I feel like that's why something ended. Tell me about justice reverse. Why is justice reverse? For Leo. Why is justice reverse? <laughs> Seven of Cups again. Okay. Can I get one more for Justice Reverse? It's almost like something wasn't fair to someone, so they started trying to figure, you know, like, look for another option. Yeah, so someone let, put down a burden here. They just let this burden go because they were, t I, I'm picking up this energy of someone feeling way down, burdened. And so they decided to make a different choice. That's why the Two of Pentacles is here as well. They, they're, a different choice was made and so they told this to someone or you're gonna tell this to someone. Someone told this to you or you told this to someone. Take it how it resonates. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? Empress energy. Why is judgment here? Someone's recognizing their worth or being admired here. Yeah, five of wands. Challenge, drama, competition, conflict. It's almost like this, this, oh, there you are, Leo, showing up to your reading, strength reversed. I feel like the situation got out of control here. Like you let something happen for too long. Like someone let something happen for too long. And looking back, they're wondering, why did I put up with that? I'm better than that. I have a lot to offer. I can manifest and grow no matter where I am. So why am I dealing with this BS? That's the energy I'm picking up here. And I feel like it's like they're they're waking up to this realization that they are better than this, that they can do better. Tell me about the Ten of Swords reverse over here. We have two, three tens on the board. This is all about cycles ending, things coming to a head and, you know, ending chapters to start new ones. Tell me about the Ten of Swords reverse. That's way too many. Tell me about the Ten of Swords reverse. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Tell me about the Ten of Swords reverse. There's that timing. Knight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Three of Pentacles reverse six of Pentacles. I feel like someone wants to rebalance 
something that already ended. Like try to fix this and work on this, but they don't really have anything to offer here. It's like after it ended, now they want to come in and give you something. And I picture the other person being like, no, I'm not open to that. I'm doing fine on my own. I don't need anything from you. This wasn't working anyway. Yeah, this person wants to come back in out of the cold. They're heartbroken. They want to take action now. And I don't think that you're open to that. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. It's like it's too late. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. What's this Knight of Pentacles about? Yeah, this person wants like a new beginning with you. Like they want to fix things. It's like they want you to take them in, into this new cycle that you're in. Or perhaps this is you wanting another opportunity, another offer. It's like you don't, you don't want what they're giving you. You want something else. Yeah, you want something new. The fool. Like you want something new and you don't want you don't you want to be free. You don't want to be tied to anybody or anything. Yeah, I feel like you're thinking of yourself. Self-worth, self-love. Thinking of what truly makes you happy, what truly fulfills you emotionally, and you don't want to be tied up anymore. Is what I'm picturing here. I'm picturing you wanting to move on. Tell me if this is resonating down in the comments. This could also be your person feeling this way. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Page of Wands reverse. King of Pentacles. Yeah, it's almost like... Um, Again, with the same old, someone is still trying to get you back, I feel. And so they're trying to, to, you know, maybe they're trying to communicate with you and you're not having it or what they're saying, you're not really listening. I think when they talk to you, all you think about is where you were and how you don't want to be back there again. Or you're thinking about not wanting, not being attached anymore, like being I'm also picking up like finances, like you're thinking of finance. Some of you are really worried or focused on finances, stability. And you're not going to be paying attention to any anything or anyone that brings half-assed energy. Okay, so let's see, what are you thinking of each other? What are your energies at this time? Tell me more for Leo. What are they thinking or feeling regarding this connection or this other person? What are they thinking of each other? What are the energies they're bringing to this connection? What is the energy that Leo is bringing to this connection? Oh my God, poetic justice. Fairness, balance, karma. You will have justice and balance will be restored. You're thinking about things being fair to you. You're thinking about balancing your life or perhaps you're making some sort of final decision here like you mean business with the poetic justice card <clears throat> what about the person that leo is dealing with what about the person that leo is dealing with what are their energies patiently waiting waiting patience faith what you desire will be given at the right time have faith so this person is like thinking that if they wait long enough, you'll come back to them, or um, maybe they've made you an offer and they're waiting for a response. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get some more. Maybe you're weighing the, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know what's going on with my voice. Maybe you're weighing the pros and cons of something. Tell me more for Leo. Tell me more for Leo, please. What are the energies that Leo is bringing to this connection? Now, Leo, I have you on this side uh, and I have your person on the other, 
but you can flip them if they resonate more. Okay, so we got the crocodile for you. This is someone that's um, patiently watching and waiting for the right time to, to strike or to make some sort of move here. Panther, yes, you're, you've cost the tower. Complete destruction of something. You've completely ended something or something is no longer affecting you the way it once did. Tell me about the person that Leo is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? Okay. So we got the bat. This is a card about endings. They're thinking about the ending that took place here between you. Black egg is about speaking your truth. Um, I feel like there's something that they are waiting to tell you. Um, they're also watching you. I feel like they're they're observing what you're doing, but they're also like um, this is like a card about the master and the teacher. Learning. Um, it's almost like they've learned their lesson now that something has ended. But the thing is, I, I think in your mind, like it's too late now. That's just the energy that I keep picking up. That maybe that's not all of you. Maybe you will give this person a second chance. Um, maybe if they open up in a, in a way that they never have before, you'll consider it. But <clears throat> I feel like a lot of you are done. Let's see. Tell me one for Leo. More spirit. What's going on with Leo? More for Leo. What are they thinking or feeling about this other person at this time? The moon and the emperor. Wow, yeah. Pisces, Aries energy here. With the moon, I feel like there's, it's almost like you are getting control of your life in secret, or you're not really telling everybody what you're doing or planning, uh, but you're definitely taking control of a situation. I'm also picking up like you are, you need clarity, you want clarity, you're not just going to take confusion anymore or you, you don't want to feel doubt or you don't want to be wondering about something like you want answers and you're not going to take anything else tell me about the person that leo is dealing with what are their energies at this time Two of cups reverse like this person is just thinking about the breakup or the separation still tell me more about this person that leo is dealing with what are their energies eight of cups reverse yeah they want to come back like they want i just picture them wanting to return because you make them happy sun card here or wanting to return to you Ten of Wands right after that. Um, I feel like they haven't been able to let you go. This is weighing on their heart. Can I get one more? Tell me more about Leo's person. There's some red flags here though. Yeah, High Priestess. Something that's unknown or not being communicated. I feel like there's something that maybe with the black um, egg here. This is a spirit card about speaking. Hold on, let me look at the keywords again. I think it's like speaking inner truth or something like that. There's a special way that they describe it here. Speaking from an authentic voice, the truth. So yeah, this is someone that really wants to communicate their truth. But with the high priestess here, and then right behind that, we have the three of coin reverse. It's like they don't put enough effort or they don't, things aren't don't work well with them um perhaps there's some sort of interference between you whether that's um deception family members friends work finances whatever the case may be i feel when you think of this person you think about what you're not sure of or what you don't know uh secrets this could also be that th there's something happening here with this person's intuition. 
Let's see. Let me clarify. Let me clarify these energy spirit things. Tell me about the Emperor. Yeah, you're thinking of success, of bringing... I don't know. It's like you're on a different... You're at a, a different league here. Yeah, I feel like for you, you've put in a, a effort, time, energy into something that probably never grew. Maybe it was a bad investment. And it's like now you're thinking of something else or handling things differently. Can I get one more with the Emperor? Yeah, this is you. Like, you're moving forward. Like, you don't care. You're thinking about success, and there's nothing or no one that's going to get in your way. Because you're this emperor. Empress, emperor energy. That's what I picture for you. I feel like you have regrets over the past. Tell me about the high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? Ten of Pentacles reverse. This could be financial, lack of stability, family problems, broken commitments. Yeah, the moon again. There's something off here. I think you know it though, because I have to pay attention to the red flags. There's something here that's an illusion. Someone that appears to be something they're not. Yeah, there's something off here with this person. Seven of Swords reverse. You caught them in a lie or you see them very clearly now. I feel like you're telling them to back off. You're resisting this, fighting back. Maybe there was a lot of conflict with this person. I just don't pick up the energy of them. It's almost like they're just heartbroken over what happened, but I just don't see them like really bringing something solid forward let's see what are their next actions going to be or what is next for this connection what are their next actions going to be towards leo or this connection spirit what are their next actions going to be towards leo six of cups reverse someone's stuck in the past Wanting to return to the past as well. Three of swords, pain, difficulty, verbal conflict. Tell me more. What's next here? This is heartbreak. The full reverse. And then bottom of the deck page of coin reverse and the chariot. So... Once again, I picture someone kind of leaving the other person in the dust. Could be dealing with a cancer, someone with cancer in their chart. I have Pisces, Aries, I have Leo. What else do I have here? Libra. Does not have to be, but those are the signs that I see. Um, with the full reverse, this is like someone that's not really planning enough in advance or really seeing where their actions are taking them. Like they don't, they're not, um, they're reckless. They don't really think things through. So I feel like whatever this person's planning to do or say, I don't think that they really thought it through. They might even be honest with you, but I think that it's just gonna end up being a heartbreaking situation or a difficult conversation. They could also be trying to delay your new beginning. Maybe not let you, they can't let you go possibly. Thank you so much for watching, for your likes, shares, and subscribes. If you enjoyed this reading, please consider liking and subscribing. And don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know if it resonated for you because I'd love to hear from you. All right, Leo, I'll see you all in another video. Take care.